Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to read some Space Objects flashcards. Just saying, make sure you guys can kind of like figure out some of the items we can find in this video. Uh, let's get going. Space. Wonderful space. Space is an empty bluish purplish, pinkish, greenish thing, like sky in the outer space, like where the planets are, the solar system. That's where space is. Space is so huge, like, you know, it's like you cannot even tell where it ends. Like the sky. Space is a type of sky with a ton of stars. The sun, our beautiful sun. The sun gives us vitamin D for heat. Sun gives us a hot weather so we can get to the pool and play with water balloons or all sort of stuff. And the sun is the thing which is in the middle of our solar system. It is the one which keeps all our planets in a ring like this. The rings, eight rings. Sun keeps all the planets together orbiting, which means going around the sun. Now that's, that's what the lines are, but they're not visible in actual space. Astronaut! Astronaut. An astronaut is a person who goes to outer space. Like, a person, an astronaut is going to the moon. And people are now the astronauts are going to Mars to see if we can live there. Cause one day Earth might get too full of people. So then we're gonna have to move to another planet. So astronauts have been sent to Mars to see if if there's life there. Satellite. A satellite is a little little bit of a solar panelish thing which is floating around space in, in like close to the earth above the earth's atmosphere sending signals of like asteroids meteors all that to the International Space Station which is also in space space suit as we learn, an astronaut needs a spacesuit to survive in space. Because in space, there is no oxygen to breathe. And there is no gravity, so we can't sit. Space helmet. Like our spacesuit, we need a space helmet to keep ourselves breathing. Because, like I said, we don't have oxygen in space so we're gonna need the space helmet to keep the oxygen inside and we can breathe in space and see in space or else we would die space station yay so a space station is where astronauts go to in rocket ships and go there and stay there for months learning about stuff. How we know the weather for tomorrow would be because of the astronauts in the space station. They watch as the Earth orbits around the sun and turns so they can tell, okay, look at that. There is a gray cloud, so it's going to rain. Let's send the NASA people saying that it's going to rain. Tell the weathercast people, tell them to say, it's going to rain tomorrow. Get your umbrellas and stay inside your houses. That's what the space station does. Importantly, space stations are where NASA astronauts go stay for months. Space Shuttle. Well, you guys would be wondering, how do those astronauts get to the space station? Yes, 
you would need a rocket ship. But you don't, people call it a rocket ship, but it's most of the time called a space shuttle. It's where it's a type of rocket which is used to transport the astronauts to the space station, connects there, and then when they leave, they take that and leave, and then they send, they, it's like a replacement. So one person, the two people leave, and they replace that thing with another two people, and they go six months, and they do that back and forth, back and forth. It's like staying in space forever, but you just switch every six months or so. The moon! The moon is Earth's moon, no other moon. The moon does not orbit around the sun, it orbits around the Earth and not the sun. Earth orbits around the sun while moon orbits the Earth. Have you heard of this thing called a solar eclipse? A solar eclipse is when the moon goes in front of the Earth and blocks the sunlight and it just becomes dark for like an four hours or so until the moon just moves away slowly. Meteor. Meteors happen in like once in a, like a thousand years or so. So people would say, oh, meteors are just myths. But it's actually happened before. Meteors are like rocks that fall apart, like rocks from gas made, like which fall onto the earth super fast. It has fire around it because of the speed. And it crashes somewhere on Earth. Sometimes it might get destroyed that place. And people would not really say that a meteor is real. They would just say, "Oh, don't believe those scientists. They know nothing. They just yeah." But actually, scientists are right. Meteors can happen, so we should be careful. Really careful. Asteroid. Asteroid is another type of meteor what does not really hit that much because when an asteroid goes it shrinks smaller so it doesn't really hit the earth. It just falls on some sort of land and then people find it and they say look at that a stone from space and they put it in museums and praise it so much. And if that rock was alive, it would be really glad. And it would do such good deeds to that country or person or whatever. Comet! Have you guys heard of the shooting star? That's also called a sh comet. Yeah, you've heard of people said, saying that if a shooting star comes, just wish for something and it would come true. So, for example, there is a comet coming, and you didn't see it, and you just wished, wish I had a, a cute little puppy as my pet, and then in a fraction of a second, you get a cute little puppy in your hand, and then your mom's like, look, I brought the puppy too, and you're like, a puppy? You think that, you wouldn't say it, because then it'd be weird, and then you are just happy, and you have Telescope. A telescope is like a microscope which you put in your eye and you can see stuff really far away. But a microscope is that you put it and you can see really close. So you, in a telescope you can see. So you're on planet Earth and you're saying, oh, we can see Saturn and Jupiter today. So you take a telescope Put it and you see, you can see Saturn and Jupiter. But not like a plate telescope or a binocular. You need an actual scientific telescope, which is huge. Alien. Aliens are not real, but they might be. But people just say it's a myth. For now, it's actually real. It's for now, it's a myth. 
But if it comes true, then I'd oftenly want to go see that alien. Some people say that there's like alien ships coming these days, like sometimes. And they think it's aliens. But I don't really think it's aliens. I think aliens do not exist. I just think they're just cute little children's imaginations. Constellation. A constellation is a is like a few dots which are put in a in a very weird sequence where when you like when you do a connected dots, it kind of means something. Well, this comet, which you guys could see, is like a dipper. So, and if you guys see a comet with a cute puppy, I would love to see that too. Because I've never ever seen constellations. UFO. So, a UFO is like the alien spaceship which flies over your head sometimes. People think it's nothing but just scientists doing that on Halloween. Halloween pranks on people saying that, oh look, it's a UFO flying up our heads. Star. I do not know who does not like the star, but Stars are so beautiful, and constellations are made of stars. Stars that are put in a sequence, when if you do a connected dots, it looks like something. And stars are, there are a million in the space. And have you heard of, the star, is of these rhymes called Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Well, if you're around a little toddler, then you would know that song. And your mom would have sung it when they see the stars and when they show you the stars when they sing you like when they try to teach you about the stars like that. Observarity. So an observarity is like a special office or room where there is a humongous telescope. So huge like this tube thingy popping out over here. That thing is a telescope. And inside of the room, there'll be a tinier hole, which will show you, see the stars and explore them. And you can see the, those constellations, you can see the other planets, you can see all sort of stuff. But you can't really see up to Neptune. You can like see up to Saturn or Mars. You can't see up to like Neptune. It's really far. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and always be watching our videos. See you later. Bye bye.